Fresno police say two intermediate school students were seriously hurt this morning and eight others injured when a special needs student got into a golf cart and hit the gas. Action News reporter Santai Rose is live in the newsroom now with more on what happened at Granite Ridge and the 10 students who were taken to local hospitals. Santaya? Well, Christine, one student received a broken leg and another had back and neck injuries. The student behind the wheel was also hurt after he hit a tree. Several students were wheeled out of Granite Ridge Intermediate Monday after a very unusual golf cart accident. I'm assuming the 13-year-old is uh, unfamiliar with driving. He pushed on the gas, and then once he hit one child, he, he may have accelerated more, and then he was finally stopped by the tree. That's what stopped him. The mentally challenged student suffered minor injuries and was also taken to the hospital, along with nine other students. Officers say the seventh grade driver had only traveled a short distance when the cart plowed into a crowd of teenagers. Police say the students were changing classes when the student got into the cart. Investigators say it did not require a key to work. As far as why it's unattended, that would probably be administratively with Clovis Unified. Uh, our investigators going to be concerned with the accident itself and, uh, and how that happened. A district spokeswoman says the school immediately took action by notifying the parents of those students who were hurt. One parent rushed to campus so fast they beat emergency crews. Ten students, including the driver who crashed, were taken to four area hospitals and treated while school officials were taking a closer look at the golf cart. We also have removed the, that particular golf cart. It's in our maintenance. It's on our way to our maintenance facility to see if it malfunctioned in some way with the ignition um, because that's certainly a question that has to be answered. Many students appeared to have foot injuries and were loaded into ambulances without their shoes. And a voice message was also sent out to all parents at Granite Ridge today letting them know what happened. From the newsroom, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.